everybody, Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance. Coming to you from a field day today outside Montgomery, Indiana. Mike Weiger put on great job here. Specifically, I want to talk about reduced tetrad corn. You know, there's been a lot of discussion about that out in the in the ag world. Well, here it is, face to face. So we're standing in reduced statured corn right here. Now, part of the discussion was we expect it to be about two foot shorter than normal corn. In this case, with some dry weather, same hybrid without the reduced stature gene right there versus here. So, I mean, this is tassels less than head high. The nice thing is though, if I come back out here and bend down, the ears are still acceptable. They're still two feet off the ground here. So I think there's a good chance we can get it harvested in the head, but actual touch and feel, reduced tetrad corn right here. So fingers crossed, a couple, couple years yet, uh, mid, mid decades of what they're being said, what they're telling us. But uh, also the nice thing is they're doing agronomic studies at the same time. So we'll figure out, <clears throat> do we need narrower rows? Early data says maybe not. Is there any agronomic watch outs? Not doing over today, but definitely where they had some winds and things like that. They've not had this corn right here blow down where this side has had some issues. So cool things to watch out for. Actually touch and feel on the real stuff right here. Dang exciting. If you have any questions, please let me know.